everybody ready to have a good time, kids? Yeah, yes, okay, let's pray. Gracias a Dios te damos esta tarde por permitirnos estar aquí. Aquí estamos para recibir, Dios, lo que tú tienes en este evento para cada uno de nosotros, especialmente nuestros hijos. Bendice, cuídanos, que todo salga, que nadie se lastime, que nadie se, se moleste, sino que todos seamos de bendición los unos para los otros. Gracias por todo lo que has hecho, lo que vas a hacer y lo que estás haciendo. Te damos gracias en el nombre de Jesús. Amén. Entonces empezamos. And let's have fun, ok? So relax, use your feet and your hands. Amén. Esas palmas. Exaltamos el que es digno de alabanza En las costas de los mares Levantamos un sonido de esperanza Aclamamos, aclamamos Hacemos hoy la voz de su alabanza Con las manos en lo alto Exaltamos el que reina para siempre todos oh, 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 Vamos a adorar en el monte de Sion Es el gozo de toda nación Donde la tristeza es gozo El llanto es alegría Subamos a adorar a gran rey En los montes, en los valles Exaltamos el que es digno de alabanza En las costas de los mares Levantamos un sonido de esperanza Aclamamos, aclamamos Hacemos oír la voz de su alabanza Con las manos en lo Exaltamos al que reina para siempre oh, 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 oh. Es el gozo de toda nación Donde la tristeza es gozo El llanto es alegría Subamos a adorar al gran rey En los montes, en los valles Exaltamos al que es digno de alabanza En las costas de los mares Levantamos un sonido de esperanza Aclamamos, aclamamos Hacemos hoy la voz de su alabanza Con las manos en lo alto Exaltamos al que reina para siempre Oh Esto es una fiesta, amén. A ver esos niños, no sé, sus gritos. A ver esos gritos. Palmas, a ver todos, palmas. Eh, 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 eh. Dos, dos, tres, va A la derecha A la izquierda Dando vueltas Dando vueltas Alabando Y saltando Es una fiesta Esto es una fiesta Una mano arriba, todos Una mano arriba una mano arriba y todos y todos gritando hey. y todos gritando hey. una mano arriba una mano arriba 
Y todos gritando hey. Y todos gritando hey. A la derecha A la izquierda Dando vueltas Dando vueltas Alabando Y saltando Esto es una fiesta Esto es una fiesta Ese grito niño Dando vueltas, dando vueltas Alabando y danzando Esto es una fiesta, esto es un... Un salto adelante Un salto adelante Uno para atrás Un aplauso arriba Un aplauso arriba Las manos a un lado Las manos a un lado Un aplauso arriba Un aplauso arriba un aplauso arriba, un salto adelante, un salto adelante, uno para atrás. Y todos gritando, y todos gritando, hey. y todos gritando. Hey. Las manos a un lado, las manos a un lado, y todos gritando, hey. y todos gritando a la derecha. Hey. A la derecha, a la izquierda, dando vueltas, dando vueltas, alabando. Y saltando Esta es una fiesta Esta es una fiesta Un salto adelante todos Un salto adelante Uno para atrás Y todos gritando Y todos gritando Las manos a un lado Las manos al otro esto es una fiesta, esto es una fiesta A la derecha, a la izquierda Dando vueltas, dando vueltas Alabando y saltando Esto es una fiesta, esto es una fiesta Una fiesta, ven Y hay un patito Que canta unas canciones muy bonitas Acerca de obedecer a su papá y a su mamá Ok, el patito anda ronco Normalmente canta así, pero Hoy está cantando así como yo Así que ¿Cómo lo hacen los patitos? Encontré al patito Juan En la esquina del Zaguán contra el patito Juan En la esquina del Zaguán Todos Y me dijo vente vamos a charlar Un consejo sano yo te voy a dar Y me dijo vente vamos a charlar Un consejo sano yo te voy ¿Qué dice? Obedece a tu papá Obedece a tu mamá y lo haces el Señor ¿Qué va a hacer Él? Larga vida te dará Obedece Obedece a tu papá Obedece a tu mamá Y si lo haces el Señor Larga vida te dará Larga vida te dará Cada día al despertar Cada día al despertar A Jesús debes orar día al despertar a Jesús debes orar y también tu Biblia tienes que leer porque así un niño bueno vas a ser y también tu Biblia tienes que leer porque así un niño bueno vas a ser obedece a tu papá obedece a tu Es el Señor Larga vida te dará Obedece Obedece a tu papá Obedece a tu mamá Y si lo haces Y si lo haces el Señor Larga vida te dará Encontra el patito Juan Encontra el patito Juan En la esquina del Zaguán 
Parezco Chabelo a tu papá obedece a tu mamá y si lo haces el Señor larga vida te dará obedece a tu papá obedece a tu papá obedece a tu mamá y si lo haces el Señor larga vida te dará and girls. I'm so happy you're here. Today we're going to learn a story from the Bible. It's from Zacchaeus, okay? Have you ever been to a, an event where a famous person was going to be there, such as a basketball player, a YouTuber, or a musician? Do you remember how that place was? Was it loud or quiet? What do you think it was? Was it loud or noisy? Noisy, yes. Do you remember how much you wanted to find the perfect spot to stand to see this person? Maybe others wouldn't let you in. Maybe others didn't want you in because they didn't like you. Well, if that's the case, you'll understand Zacchaeus. Thrilled that the famous miracle worker was going to come in through Jericho, Jesus, the tax collector, was determined, determined to see Jesus that day. Jericho was a perfect place for a tax collector to live since it served as a major custom site for entering goods to, from Palestine from the east. The tax collector was not liked at all. And you might think, well, why wasn't he liked? Because he worked as a tax collector for the Roman government. And not only because he worked for the Roman government, but because he would take extra money and put it in his pocket. He was making himself rich with these extra money. Well, the crowd did not like him at all. You know, he was a sinner, but the crowd thought he was the only sinner. No, he wasn't. Everybody's born, everybody is born with sin. The Bible says in Romans 3.23, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. You and I are sinners too. Every time we talk about someone behind their back, steal money, or bully someone, That is what makes us fall short of God's perfect standard. You and I are born with sin. The Bible says in Romans 5.12, Therefore, just as sin came into the world through one man and death through sin, and, and so death spread to all men because all have sinned, it can also ruin our relationship with others. And this happened to Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus had ruined his relationship with others. But guess what? Jesus knew him, and because Jesus is the son of man, he loved him. And he purposely looked at Zacchaeus when he was coming in, and he spoke to him kindly. He spoke to him kindly. He knew he was hurting. Jesus is the son of God. He's all-knowing. He knew everything about Zacchaeus. He knew his name. He knew his sin, but he also knew how he was suffering. But he loved Zacchaeus. He wanted Zacchaeus to be with him in heaven one day. And he talked to him kindly so others knew that he loved him. Others might not like you because of things you've said or done before. God knows everything about you. The Bible says in Psalms 139, 1, 2, 3, Lord, you have searched me and know me. You know when I sit down. You know when I rise up. You know and discern my thoughts from afar. You search out my path and my laying down. And you are acquainted with all my ways. And God still loves us. He knows the inside of us better than anyone else. And yet, we can rejoice on that. We can be happy. Jesus did not reject Zacchaeus. Jesus reached out to him. And he wanted Zacchaeus to know him better. And that's why he stopped and talked to him. Zacchaeus had um, ran up into the sycamore tree because he couldn't see. His, only, his, his problem was not that he was short. 
His problem was that he had sin. And that's why God wanted to talk to him. Surprised? When, Zacch when Jesus was coming up, he said, Zacchaeus, you come down from that tree. Because today I'm going to have dinner at your house. Jesus made it purposely to, to tell Zacchaeus that he was going to have dinner at his house. Why? Because he wanted Zacchaeus and everybody to know that he loved him. Surprise, he came down from that sycamore tree quickly. The, Jews, the Jewish people were so offended that Jesus would have dinner with a, a terrible sinner. The people did not have time or did not even care for Zacchaeus, but Jesus did. Jesus saw Zacchaeus as a person of value, as someone who, no matter what he had done in the past, could be a totally different person if he accepted God's forgiveness. It didn't matter to the Lord what he had done. He was reaching out to Zacchaeus today, and he's reaching out to you. If you believe in Jesus as your personal Savior, you can go to heaven one day and be with him. That's why we, we raise this yellow circle, because it reminds us of God's love. It's never ending. It doesn't have a beginning or an end, but it reminds us of heaven. Why? Because there are streets of heaven in, in there's a street of gold in heaven. Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus was saved by his faith in the Lord Jesus Christ in spite of his sin and rejection. He promised to, he promised to give half of his possessions to the poor. And this is what he said in verse 8. Look, Lord, I have given half of my goods to the poor. And if I have taken anything from anyone... By false accusation, I'll restore it four times. Zacchaeus had made a, a promise to give back what he had taken. He was even going beyond what the law required. The law required only three times, but he decided to do four times. The Lord assured Zacchaeus and all who were listening, because Zacchaeus had truly repented, he had been, been saved. In verse 9, Today, salvation has come into this house. He was letting everybody know that Zacchaeus was saved. And that's the truth. If you believe in Jesus, you will be saved. Jesus wanted to save, wants to save you too from your sin. Just as he stopped for Zacchaeus that day, he is stopping today to save you. That's what he wants. He wants you to trust in him. Jesus stopped for that, that day for him. You might be asking yourself, how can I be saved? Or from what am I being saved? Well, you are being saved from being separated from God forever. You might say, well, how is that? We are, we are lost without Jesus. But once we believe in Jesus, that he died on the cross for his sins, that he rose the third day, we are saved. He writes our name in the book of life. And this is so simple to do. It's like ABC. A. You admit that you have sinned. Romans 3.23 says that we all fall short of the glory of God. Three, second, we believe as B. Believe Jesus took your place on the cross. In Romans 3.16, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish and have everlasting life. C, you call Jesus into your heart. But as many as have received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God. And to those who believe in his name, you are a child of God if you believe. Once you believe, we need to grow in Jesus. And the only way we can grow is by reading his word and praying to him. Praying every day. And praying is just talking to God. See, this is the story of Zacchaeus. Thank you for being here. Ay, como quisiera ser niño otra vez. <laughs> Somos libres de hacer lo que queremos, de, de movernos, brincar, caminar, para allá y para acá. Pero los años llegan y nos hacemos clásicos. Pero qué, qué bonito es uh, ser libres en alabar al Señor, ¿verdad? Y de, lo que cantábamos ahorita decía, ya encontré un amigo que me ama. ¿Cuántos de ustedes han encontrado un amigo que los ama? Amén, Jesús, nuestro amigo fiel. Ahora, enseguida vamos a tener una presentación por los jóvenes que, que se han preparado uh, para presentarnos un tema que 
usted tiene que poner atención a lo que ellos están actuando, ¿ok? Y después que ellos lo presenten, usted va a decidir lo que es el mensaje, ¿ok? So, everybody, pay attention to what's next. Our youth, the Redención, has prepared something for us that has a message. So, the, the homework for you is to figure out what it means, ¿ok? Entonces, tenemos a los jóvenes de Redención. Pasen.
Gracias por el grupo de jóvenes, amén. Aquí le voy a pedir a Brandy que comparta al cerca del mensaje de que ellos presentaron. Buenas tardes a todos, que Dios les bendiga. ¿Cómo están? Bendecidos, sí. El tema de, del acto se llama Compartiendo el amor de Dios. Y um, es está en Juan 15, 12, dice, y este es mi mandamiento, que se amen los unos a los otros como yo he amado, como yo los he amado. Y en inglés, Jesus says, my commandment is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one in this but to lay down one's life for one's friends. And this is what Jesus did for you and all of us. Tenemos otro versículo que dice Mateo 25, 35. Porque tuve hambre y ustedes me dieron de comer, tuve sed y me dieron de beber, fui forastero y me dieron alojamiento. And Jesus also said, For I was hungry and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger and you invited me in. Amén. Entonces, um, que Dios bendiga a los jóvenes, gracias uh, por todos los, los niños que tenemos, que ellos son el futuro. Y pues seguir apoyando a, a cada uno de los jóvenes para que eh, ellos sigan uh, impartiendo más el mensaje del Señor. Gracias también a, a coreografía Emily que nos ayudó, a hermana Lía y a um, Jeremiah y Estuardo. Muchas gracias por su tiempo, que Dios los bendiga. Amén. Amén. Un aplauso para los jóvenes y Brendy que los dirigió en este drama.